So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Rup Jyoti Das for scoring a topmost rank of 13 in MCH ENT group for MCH Edenic Oncology in NEET SS session 2023. Congratulations to you and best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. So can we know your brief background history for a medical career, where you started until date, what all you have done? Okay, sir. So, well, uh, sir, I am basically from Guwahati, Assam. So I've done both, of, both my MBBS and MSCNT from Guwahati Medical College, Guwahati, Assam. So I completed my MSCNT in the year 2017 itself, way back in 2017 itself. Then I went on to do my fellowship in uh, head and neck oncology from Dr. Biborak and Sensitive, uh, BBCI. So after completion of two years of fellowship, in head and neck oncology, I again did one year of um, SSC over there. So after a completion of three years training in um, head and neck oncology department, I started uh, uh, working as a private consultant in one of the private hospitals uh, since 2021. So uh, like that's how I'm working now. The idea to do an MCH oncology came when? Sir, um, uh, sir, like uh, I always uh, dreamt of um, doing MCS, uh, like uh, right from my MBBS days. But you know, sir, like uh, after completing MSc and T, uh, when I got into fellowship, I almost, uh, I almost gave up the idea of pursuing MCS further. But sir, in um, 2021, I, when I attempted for this NEET SS, my uh, rank was around 18 at the time in 2021 NEET SS. Eight so eight. that's eight. when, yes, sir, one eight, the one eight, needed to twenty twenty one, because at that time, sir, the paper was more, uh, more like kind of a kind of a head and neck kind of paper, like uh, the questions were more on head and neck side. So since I was um, working in a head and neck department, so it was kind of a bit uh, like I felt it, it was kind of a bit easy for me. So when my rank came out to be eighteen, then I. Uh, got a stimulus. I got a stimulus to, you know, sir. Uh, that's how my uh, attempt, yeah, like I start, started uh, giving, um, I mean, going for need as a center again and again. Then. Now, what happened that uh, you didn't join, is it? 18th rank is a good rank. No, sir. At that time, the seats were around 14. Like I attended the counseling, but uh, okay. it, uh, like, all the seats were taken before 18. I mean, the, the last rank to take up the seat was rank number 17. So 17. I just missed 17. So, so I, one. yes, sir. Okay. So then what happened? Okay, sir. So the thing is that, um, so in 2021, I got 18 rank. Then um, last year in 2022, there was like, uh, there was a change in pattern. So the pattern was like that, like, uh, like uh, I got to know, like there were more questions from the general ENT part. As I was not in touch with the general ENT part, I basically, I mean to say the autology and rhinology part for the last uh, three years, because I was into the head and neck department. So I was not in touch with those particular uh, topics, like basically from autology or rhinology. So when I uh, appeared in 2022 NEET SS, like, like the question paper was kind of tough for me because I was not being able to answer the basic questions from rhinology and autology. So my rank dropped from 18 to 78. Last year. That, that is that is about last year. Sir. So my rank dropped from 18 to 78. That's when like I uh, felt very much disappointed. And, and again, I thought of, you know, sir, um, I almost gave up the idea of pursuing M MCs for it because I just thought like, um, <laughs> so it's like a, it won't be possible for me at a time. So then from last year, September till March this year, I didn't study at all, sir. Frankly speaking, I didn't study at all. I didn't prepare also. But in April, what happened? One of my juniors um, came up to me and he told me like, uh, sir, why don't you, why don't you take up uh, speed app? Like, and you can give it a try once again. Yes, I, I already knew about speed app from my other colleagues. So when my junior came up to me and told me about speed app, then I gave it a thought. Then ultimately after much consideration and 
thinking about it, I suddenly made up a mind to join speed up. I joined speed up in mid April this year. And I started preparing from then on onwards. Then so like, sir, since I, I'm working as a consultant in one of the private hospitals, so it was di very difficult to manage, uh, you know, uh, devote your time to st st studies and all. So I uh, formulated a routine like I, um, sir, when I go to duty, like I used to see patients, so I used to do uh, OTs as well. Like I used to uh, take one, two notebooks with me, then I used to, whenever I used to get free time, like, you know, in between uh, OPDs, like whenever I used to get free time, I used to go through the video lectures uh, of speed app, then I used to make, make notes of uh, every video lecture, because I knew that um, uh, at the last moment, it won't be possible for me to, you know, sort of go through all the videos. So better to make notes and, you know, uh, it will be, uh, kind of revision for me like when I go to the notes in the last moment. So that's how I proceeded. And in the evening time, sir, when I'm back from work, I used to do one thing like whatever little time was available for me. I used to study at least for two to three hours, say around 9.30 to 10, 10 o'clock uh, to around one o'clock. So that's how I started studying. And I'm... Um, made up my mind at the time that I will take at least at least uh, one month leave before the exam because I knew that the the, the last one month is a very crucial period for uh, every aspirant actually. So at the time only I thought of taking leave. So since our exam was on sir 9th and 10th September, it was supposed to be held on 9th and 10th. So I took leave from sir 1st August. So those uh, 40 days of leave worked really uh, well for me because sir even uh tasers are also used to tell us like it's very important to you know revise to the notes and um, sit down and study at least for 30 to 40 days before the exam and again sir when the exam got postponed for another 20 20 days then it like uh, i got more time to just study and revise to the notes and all. so that's how i did my preparation sir very brief, uh, very brief history and uh, inspiring history. Rank number 18 yes. and uh, rank number 83, uh, correct? 70, 78. So, uh, like 78, 18 to 70. Uh, 18 to 78, then from there to 13. And I mean, there's a constant factor behind it and you have been up to it and today you have achieved it. Right? So, yes, sir, yes, sir. And uh, I need to congratulate you, sir. Truly an inspirational story for any specialty people want to watch. Yes. Yes, and sir. You yes, sir. And you have accomplished. And there is no time restriction for that. There is no age restriction for that. When you want to do, do it. That's it. And uh, so very, yes, very, sir. Appropriate. very, very appropriate. And I wholeheartedly congratulate you for your sincere, dedicated effort and the hard work. Inspector yes, sir. So I want to, sir, um, convey my gratitude to Teja, sir, because uh, he's, been, he's been a constant guide for all of us, like who has been watching his videos and all. He used to. Um, um give us important tips or tricks in every topics he deals upon like for example sir like so there are many ta tables on classification or staging or whatever sir so he used to come up with um, uh, important tips like how to remember those tables without mugging up so that's that that used to save save a lot of time for us so it was a very important um aspects of this particular app and also sir your videos sir, i went went through some of the videos basically said the 28 edition bailey topics on certain head and neck topics like parathyroid thyroid those also uh, those topics that helped us a lot so, and your videos are also very sir motivational inspirational <laughs> <laughs> yeah see uh dr teja is a great person and a great faculty by himself and he yes, has undergone what all you have undergone. And uh, maybe yes, one sir. student in ENT has to go through and he ended in Tata Memorial and he completed be a consultant. So he knows the journey and, and he also has learned how to go about the journey. So he is very, very concise and very, very to the point and he will correctly guide to achieve what you want to achieve. That's the beauty of it. Yes, sir. So once again, I wish you all the best and all the success. And... Uh, and before uh, before we call it, I mean, whom all you want to thank? 
and you can uh, use this platform to thank who helped you to achieve what you are today. So uh, first of all, I'd know, definitely like to thank my family, my parents, my brother, and my wife. Actually, like uh, those uh, people have been very support supportive throughout this journey because they knew that even uh, even if I'm working as a consultant, they gave me ample space and support so that I can concentrate on my uh, studies and you know, sir, pursue my dream of uh, doing an MCH in in one of the institutes in India. And moreover, I'd like to Dr. Teja sir and sir, specifically you sir for guiding up, guiding us throughout the journey, sir. Great, doctor. Wish you all the best and all the success uh, to have a great career in uh, MCH and NIH Oncology. And the definitely thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Is so strong. And uh, definitely, it will be of a great pillar to your speciality itself. Wish you all the best and all the success. Have a Thank great you very much, sir. Thank you, sir.